Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Rise Pro Wrestling on this historic evening for the seventh anniversary spectacular. Rise Pro Wrestling caps off 2023 in the biggest way possible. Ty Cross, Jason Hendricks is a student of the Stronghold Academy. We saw throughout this year the Here Stronghold. Here we go, Jim, we're underway. Sorry to cut you off, but there was no way to rail for Tad. The Stronghold had banned together against the great success. It was Jason Hendricks that stabbed Jarvis in the back at the Rise Rumble. And you know what they say about payback? Payback is hell and hell has come here in the form of Tad Jarvis. Jarvis looking to extract revenge against the poster boy. And Tad, Jarvis is rolling. Tad just has to make sure he stays under control, doesn't lose control of himself here, lose sight of what's important. You want to get this victory right now this is your chance to capitalize. And it could be a short night for the poster boy. Oh, there man. There you see, Tad got overzealous there, set up that spear, but telegraphed it a little bit too long. And that is why you cannot be over aggressive as Jarvis dropped high on the back of his neck. You know, since we have seen Jason Hendricks align himself with the great success faction. We have seen a bona fide mean streak from Hendricks. Hendricks is more aggressive and more vicious than we've ever seen him. And he definitely took a beating early, but used the motivation, used that near hatred that Tad has built up for Hendricks over these last few months to his advantage. And we saw that Jarvis got over emotional and that has caused the tilt of the tide here. Ty Cross, if you can, how important is it to keep your emotions in check inside that squared circle? It's one of the most important facets of wrestling, but also one of the hardest to maintain. When you are in there in essential blood feud, you've been beaten down, torn to pieces, almost had your career ended by these guys. All you want is to get your hands on them. But like, like we said, Keeping your emotions in check and sticking to your game plan is so important when you're in with someone as dangerous of an athlete as Hendrix is. And the poster boy in firm control right now. And this is very, very wise wrestling because what Hendrix is doing is grounding the momentum of Tad Jarvis and controlling the pace of this matchup. And that chin lock, Jim, is in pretty deep. Jarvis smart to try to work out of it as quick as he can. Trying to extricate himself here. Can the social media icon try to get some momentum together? Hendricks avoids the contact and beautiful. Swinging neck breaker finds two. One thing you can say about all these Stronghold Academy students that graduate and find themselves and find their own personalities in this business is they execute maneuvers so well learning from a teacher like Brandon K. You saw it right there with that neck breaker. Picture perfect execution. And that's what's scary is when you have someone with, with a fractured mind like Hendricks who can execute so well in the ring. It is a it is a very formidable force indeed. There's no doubt about it, Ty Cross. The future of Rise Wrestling looks very, very bright. But the great success won all of the spotlight on themselves. And on Rise's biggest night of 2023, you know that that, that stable, the great success, want their night to get started off with a victory and continue that momentum throughout the course of this evening. Jarvis hit the post very, very hard. And as tough as Jarvis is, he may be on borrowed time right now. He racked off that ring post. Solid steel met the cranium of Tad Jarvis. 
I've learned never to count Tad Jarvis out of a matchup, though. It's looking bad right now, but you got to think, if Tad's got anything left in the tank, he's going to use all he's got, but he's in a bad way right now. And the poster boy really pouring on the offense, grinning like a Kesher cat, and that is the prime arrogance of Jason Hendricks. He's very, very good, and he knows it. Well, and that's the, that's the MO of the entire great success. They are very, very good young talent, and they know it. And to your point earlier, Ty, that toughness of Tad Jarvis, an act of defiance, kicking out at just one. Tad Jarvis's career to this point can be pinpointed with the phrase act of defiance. He does not let anything keep him down. He has fought through so much. The beatings, he keeps coming back. It's impressive. But Jason Hendricks came out here with a game plan and is executing it as perfectly as I've ever seen. And we're gonna test the tenacity of Tad Jarvis right here. Can the veteran, the U.S. Army veteran fight his way out, and he can. Jarvis is firing on all cylinders now. Hendricks under. Very wise wrestling, chops the leg out. Hendricks lowered the boom right there. That elbow looked like it caught flush right against the lower back of the head, right in that medulla area. Very surprised that there was a kick out there. I thought maybe that could have been a knockout blow. That shows you how determined Jarvis is to exact some revenge on Jason Hendricks and the great success as a whole. And the arrogance just oozing off of Jason Hendricks. Kidney shot, nasty. And that's what I'm talking about. You can confirm this, Ty Cross. The great success are a nasty, nasty bunch of individuals. Absolutely, but Jarvis now trying to build some momentum back going his way. See right there, the game plan executed. These Jason Hendricks had it scouted. Sorry, Jim, had that maneuver scouted for sure. These two know each other very, very well. As we said, both Hendricks and Jarvis trained together in the Stronghold Academy, but they certainly have taken very different roads to the seventh anniversary spectacular. These two men for a long time too were very close. They fought on the same side, they were friends. It was Hendricks that defected. And you gotta wonder how long was that plan in place? Wow! We might be back to square one here. Because this is like a tie ball game, Jim. We are at a virtual stalemate. Both men on the canvas. Referee Nick Brown putting down the count. The first man to their feet will certainly have a definitive advantage in the conclusion of this contest. That, that kick looked toe to temple. And here comes Jarvis. And the social media icon. He's ready to go. Big Spear connects. No! And could that have been the best shot that Jarvis had? I think it was, and that's the problem. What else does Jarvis have in the tank? Looks like he's gonna go for that spear again. Oh, wait a second, wheelbarrow. Oh Hendricks had it scouted, as does Jarvis. Wow! Man, right on the button. Pinpoint precision, lateral press. No! No! on an evening that will 
forge the next chapter in Rise history, we have a highly competitive opening contest. This match is the definition, Jim, of leaving it all out there. Hendricks hooks him up. Jarvis counters, swing and a miss by Hendricks. Jarvis hits the Bulldog. Game over. Jason Hendricks stabbed Tad Jarvis in the back some five months ago, and it, had, it may have taken those five months, but finally, Tad Jarvis has a measure of revenge against the poster boy. <laughs>